Good Lords Podcast. Hello, everybody. How you doing? This is Pete Olson Osnaldo here to give you a little bit of a first look video, a little insight uh, on this beta that we were given called Dune Spice Wars. I've never played this before. Now, this is my first time. the game, first of all, I would like to say I was intrigued because I saw some other streamers playing it. Uh, I kind of thought it was interesting how they brought that type of RTS type game into being more of a city expansion type game. Uh, and I, I thought that it had a lot of potential and I really wanted to play it. I really wanted to see how it felt. Um, and then after after that happened, I end, uh, ended up uh, requesting the key. And I noticed actually my guild leader, uh, who I play Warcraft with, uh, plays the game all the time. And he says it's fantastic. So uh, I said, all right, I got to give this thing a try. So I'm used to an RTS map lasting me. Uh, I'm talking like Starcraft, Starcraft Warcraft. Um, you know, we played Iron Harvest. Um, there's multiple different RTS types of games that I've played that I, I wanted to, that I've, I've seen the genre from multiple different um, types of uh, developers' hands. Now, Dune Spice Wars, first of all, it's pretty. it's got some pretty decent graphics. Like I said, it's still in beta right now, uh, but it has a couple of different things. Uh, you can beat your stages in multiple different ways. Uh, you can become the governor of the, uh, you know, of Dune, uh, of the planet. Um, sorry for being so ignorant to the specifics of Dune. I haven't seen the movies since the original. I didn't see the new one, so I apologize. Uh, I hear they're fantastic, and I can't wait to uh, finally see them. Side so note that. So in this, in this version of Dune Spice Wars, um, you can end up beating a board in multiple different ways you know you have your governor you, you can become governor you can uh, you have a whole bunch of different ways to espionage uh, the other the other factions um you can assassinate them um you can even uh, starve out the ai in your area and make sure that they go bankrupt and uh there, there's no longer an issue uh, with, with that location now the reason why i wanted to kind of bring up the game uh, and talk about it is because the number one issue, the number one issue I had with the game was there was n almost no tutorial. And I have played more than my fair share of RTSs, and I know how to play them, but this was very, very confusing. Um, I even I even went to the, to the extent to contacting my guild leader, Nurgle, and asking him to see if he can come in and actually <laughs> almost like spot tutor me and what i'm doing because i was clueless and he came in he explained you know the different factions i uh, explained uh to me you know the the different ways to win he kind of gave me the the one-two punch of teaching me how to do you know basic things so that i can kind of complete the game now the game itself, it starts out very, very slow-paced for me. Uh, and I think for me personally, it is a very, it was a very slow-paced game because it was my first time playing. So I tried to complete the game using the governor way, uh, which is getting um, certain amounts of votes, and then you end up getting put into office as a governor. And then once you're placed as the governor, you can end up then, you have to hold it for, I think it's like 60 days, and then you end up winning the game. Now, it sounds very easy, but it's not. Um, because of uh, certain aspects of the game, uh, you have to take your time to get uh, certain points to allow you to expand faster, to allow you to go and uh, expand to the point where, you know, you, you have enough cities to, to win. Now... I actually did not win that way. Um, I actually won by starving out the AI from having uh, not enough uh, resources. Or I think it might have been that he got attacked too many times by raiders and just died. Now, I myself, um, like I said, uh, I played for well, I played the map once, and it was for over four hours. 
And I will say, it didn't feel like four hours, number one. Number two, I had a blast. Uh, my chat was super engaged in asking questions and trying to help me win because I've never played before. And because there was no tutorial and there's very little information on teaching me how to play, they were giving me lots and lots of tips, which I really thought was nice and effective. Uh, and I thought that because it has so many different elements, it made it way more enjoyable than a normal RTS. Now, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of different things uh, when, when it comes to the, comes to the game itself. Uh, first of all, just gonna blitz through, you know, kind of like a, almost like a ranking of of how I thought things were. I thought the graphics were good. Uh, I thought the gameplay was was pretty good. Um, once I understood how to do it and how to play, I thought that the, the cityscapes were fantastic. And I think that the replayability on this is going to be fantastic because you're going to have more than one way to beat out your other competitors. I first started with one other group of people to play against. Now I did that because Nurgle recommended I only do it because the AI he told me was super smart. And I can kind of see that even with just being going against a normal AI and the AI Raiders, because there's a couple of times where I had to intercept the, um, the other uh, AI colony, and then I had to go and airlift my people onto another colony uh, to be able to defend it. Uh, from the Raiders. So I had to start really playing strategically and really, really start getting used to getting a lot of those things done. And eventually I ended up getting that squared away and worked out really well. So I was very, 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 very happy with it. Now, once again, uh, the thing that was cool was you have really, really in-depth technology trees. You have your voting, which happens every couple of a couple of days. I think it's like every week or something like that. Maybe maybe even longer than that. Um, and that will give you different types of pros and cons to your colonies. You're very limited on your troops, which is very interesting when you're trying to produce a what method of attack on certain towns, because your towns you can put militia in them. But if you put mali but if you get attacked, you know, and, and they have six militia, you're supposed to have like you know six or seven people to be able to defeat them and get out of there and safely and, and win. And it became harder and harder to do that the longer and longer the game progressed. And that's where you know a lot of the espionage portions came in because you could actually kind of knock out some um, you know some spice from that area or things like that. Um. Oh, the sp I want to talk to you about the spice, too. So you send out your spice harvesters to be able to, to essentially get you your more capital money. Now, you start off essentially with one spice area where you can go. You go in there and you can collect your spices. You can kind of do your stuff. And then after that, what ends up happening is, you know, it comes, it just goes into a, a pool. And then after that, you know, there is a, based on what's happening in the planet, how much spice is being brought up, who's got more spice, you actually get to choose what percentage of your spice turns into money and how much is surplus and held. It got to the point where I started playing smarter and getting as much spice as possible and producing a backlog as much as possible of the spice so that I can actually decrease the amount of spice to money ratio. And once I started doing that, I started getting money hand over fist I started being able to produce my, my military um, bases faster. Uh, once I was able to get the, the plasteel, uh, you know, factories going. I mean, there was there's so many different facets of it. I, um, take a look at the video, watch it. I'm gonna put little clips in there, so everyone takes a look and sees you know different portions of the game. Um, and uh, you know, I'm telling you, it was fantastic. Uh, if you uh, really really enjoy you know watching these types of games. Uh, you know, or if you want to just check us out while we're, we're playing other games, uh, my name is Pete, also known as Snaldo. 
Uh, I am on Twitch seven, uh, seven days a week. I, I feel like I'm on Twitch seven days a week. I'm on Twitch five days a week, Monday to Friday, 3 to 11 p.m. every single night. Um, we specialize in World of Warcraft. Uh, we also play other games throughout the whole week, um, like V Rising. Uh, we usually end up playing uh, like one day of just random games. Uh, could it be uh, V Rising? Uh, you know, we'll play some Dune. Uh, we got Phantom Brigade coming. Uh, we got, you know, Titans of Industry. We got a whole bunch of different games coming out. So go ahead and check us out. Uh, hit that like and follow button here. Uh, you know, if you have, if you want to check me out, like I said, it's Snaldo. Uh, that's S N A L Y D O dot uh, TV uh, over on Twitch. Uh, I'm on Twitter, uh, you know, Instagram, uh, and Discord. So if you got any questions, by all means, hit me up. Uh, I greatly appreciate everything. Uh, make sure you go and check out the Iron Lords podcast every single Sunday, and go to LordsOfGaming.net to check out for gaming news on a daily basis. Those writers are fantastic. Go ahead and check them out. Love you all. Have a fantastic rest of your, of your week. All right, and uh, I will see you later. Bye, everybody. And when it died, when the faction died, the Lance Rag card went neutral and started running around beating the shit out of everything. Um. It's a good problem to have. At your service, sir. Definitely. <clears throat> Oh shit, I actually ran a plus steel. Thankfully. The other thing I found is like even if you get into a, a pinch, you can sometimes trade items to your enemies if you make it sweet enough for them. Like there's been times when I've been sitting on like like capped out plasteel and I'll be like, here, do you want some plasteel for some Solari or spice or something? I need five more regions. I'm sorry, ten more regions. Try to be governor. Yep. Oof. You better start pulling your influence now if you want to win that vote. And then you gotta hold the region for a while. You can't just get it and win. <sighs> what happens if I just attack the other guy's main town? I mean, if you break through and kill it, you'll win, but it's tough to, to break through. It's, it's, it's basically its own defenses, and it's thick, although it's almost half dead already. That's, that helps. Mm. Hell, at this rate, you may be able to just outlast him. Right. Oh shit, look what happened. These jabronis decide to attack like I thought they would.
Oh, I won. Oh, I guess he died. Huh. Nice. Grats.